Hello, I'm Councilman Steve Flotter, and, and see right behind me, I'm at Brookwood Hall, a beautiful park in the town of Islip. It's a really exciting day here at Brookwood Hall. It's our third annual cleanup day. I started this program about three years ago. It was a way of bringing our people in our community together and trying to restore this beautiful landmark in our community. A lot of things are being done which government can't afford to do. And we're right today, we're beautifying the grounds even more. Last year, we rebuilt the original Majestic Gardens that were in the back of the property that goes down to the lake. It was over a half million dollar donation from local business owners and volunteers. This year, again, you can see right behind me, we're spiffing up the park and we'll be planting 24 cherry trees along the main road that used to be the gateway into this mansion back in the turn of the century. So again, if you have a chance, please come down to Brookwood Hall Park, take a look at some of the beautiful improvements, all done for volunteerism in the community. Thank you. Some other people I definitely have to thank is number one is Anthony Quintel and Bright Waters Farm. He's been overly generous to this community, and there's been so many others. It's hard to even name them all. But again, uh, also the, uh, the Brookwood Hall Restoration Committee, who helped donate a lot to the trees, and always have been putting the heart to bring this together, which are all community leaders. I uh, thank there's so many others, Anthony Master Antonio from Marconian Manor. Uh, for all the food donations. He's always here, always uh, with his arms open. Uh, I support the department who did barbecuing today. Uh, I, town Parks Department's been amazing. The Planning Department joined in this year, giving us grant for some trees. Chamber. Ace House and Chamber. Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware. Do you know anyone else? No, I don't know anybody else is helping out. Okay. We have, uh, <laughs> shortly we'll have the Brookwood Hall Restoration Committee and the Planning Department 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 part of the Suburban Brothers Band. Martha is going to be teaching our recycling workshop with lots of things that were collected ar around the territory as well as in our homes. So that's going to happen out here shortly. And a couple of volunteers, not that we can name them all, but uh, Capital One Bank, PSEG of Long Island, uh, ACLD, uh, uh, Latter Day Saints. Right. Uh, Keep Ice Up Clean is one of the big leaders big. of today's event. And Definitely. we had donations from Costello, Hardware, Hardware, uh, and Home Depot. So, and um, again, on this video, we apologize if we so many we have to thank. Father Chris. Nature. Father, Father Nature. Nature. Chris. Uh, right. So, again, thank you all, and also thank you, Dr. Harris, always helping us in all our events here. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a great day today at the third annual Earth Day at Brookwood Hall. As you see right next to me, we got beautiful Kwanzai trees planted, 24 of them. And you can see right behind me, gracing the back of me, up the road, 24 of them on the grace this road from the main entrance. In the future, we'll be like almost like a little Washington, D.C. in the spring with all the cherry trees in bloom next year and all the years to come. And again, this is all through donations, grants. We got 10, uh, 10 trees from a grant. We got 10 trees from the Brookwood Hall Restoration Committee, which was doing fundraiser. We also got trees donated from Keep Ice of Clean, Lee Auto Body, also from Ice of Chamber of Commerce, and also uh, Gary Tetrusi's family. So again, 24 trees, uh, all donated, for part of our beautiful Earth Day. And again, come enjoy Brookwood Hall. There's so much here from the museum to the grounds, to these beautiful gardens. And again, this is all done through volunteerism and donation. Enjoy.